Hi guys, welcome back. If you want to see exactly how we prep Groot's food, what his daily food looks like, stay tuned because you're going to see it all. So as for Groot, we are feeding him, you know, raw uh, food diet and so it has to be frozen for an extended amount of time. We did get him a pet nutritionist so she was able to customize his meal plans according to his weight, size, since he was a puppy actually. Um, so it was really nice transitioning him to uh, raw feeding, although it can be overwhelming with a lot of like things that is required to get him a well-balanced meal. So I'm just gonna dig right into the freezer. A lot of people tend to have the imagination of like a freezer storage or a freezer chest and that is not always the deal because sometimes when you are living in certain conditions, you are not allowed to have those type of um, luxury. This is the amount of space that we have for Gru and we just work with it. Every week I would go out and I would buy the protein, portion it, wrap it up, and then rotate it as I put it in the freezer. So I'll pull out all the ones that I've done before, push it out, that way we know we're eating those, and push the new ones to the back. At first I didn't understand how much work goes into it but at the end of the day when you're feeding it to him and throughout the months and weeks you'll notice that it's a really well balanced on him and that he um, loves his food first of all variety of food and you can control the food for this week we were able to buy him some pork and beef that's what was available so we uh, prepped it bag it Usually when I bag it, I'll put the date, however many day, and then what type of meat it is. That way, when I look at the bag, I know exactly uh, what meat to, to feed him. And usually for pork and fish, the freezing amount of time is about three weeks. That's recommended through a pet nutritionist. And then for all other types of like chicken, uh, duck, beef, it's about a week. If we're short on food, I would like to bulk up on those meat because it the freezing time isn't that long compared to pork. And so going to supplements, um, I'm making here a super cube. There are a list of things that I just kind of prepped out and I'm just going to put it into the blender. For Groot, he doesn't get to eat a lot of like vegetables or fruit, so this blends it all in together. It's all mixed in there. So in here, there's splurina, there's apple cider, blackberry, blueberries, MCT oil, kelp powder, and water with spinach. So this is just like a well form of supplement for Groot. Because of Groot's anal glands on my other video, we were told to give him some uh, fiber into his meal. I ended up getting him like a can of puree pumpkin and just did it into like cube styles. That way he gets some form of uh, fiber into his meals. And then as we are here in North Carolina, we don't have the access to getting him uh, ground bones like we did back in California. We had to adjust the amount of meat that he gets so that he is not hungry throughout the day. Instead of him eating bone, we give him the supplement bone meal so that he has his calcium and then I try to give him some quail eggs with a shell but Groot doesn't seem like he likes that too much. And then I also got some sweet potato, boiled it and then smashed it and then I also cubed it as well. And then we also get him liver and kidney. This, these can be like variety of different uh, portion, like different types of animals and the best place to get them is like at the Asian market. You don't feed them too much of this either. We like to separate each section, each one. And I know it's a lot of wrapping, but at the end of it, you are able to control the amount of liver and organs that's going into his meal and be careful with feeding them like liver and organs because they can cause the stool to be uh, liquidy. So that's the biggest reason why we like to control uh, what we give him. So that's all. I mean Groot really loves his food. It looks beautiful and it's well balanced. We are trying our best. It doesn't mean that anyone's way of feeding is perfect, but this works for us and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you haven't already done so, like and subscribe you guys. That way you are showing your support to our channel and you'll see new videos when we upload them. So I will see you next in the next video. Bye.